Welcome guys, we're going to do uh, density or dimensional analysis today in this video, just to recap. Alright, so 8 kilograms to milligrams. So everybody's going to be at a different point in the metric system. If you are not the greatest at the metric system, you're not comfortable, go to the base unit. What's the base unit? Grams, right? So go kilograms to grams, then feel free to go from grams to milligrams. Feel free to do that. Nothing wrong with that, okay? So what are our numbers going to be? Well, back to purple here. We got one kilogram, thousand grams, right? Because kilo means ten to the third. And... In one gram, there are a thousand milligrams. So this becomes eight million or eight times ten to the sixth milligrams. Now, if you are comfortable with the metric system and realize kilo is ten to the third and milla is ten to the minus third, and the difference here is 10 to the 6th, you can just do that too. That's okay. That's not um, that's not wrong. However, if you're unsure or you're not confident, I would recommend going to the base unit. Okay? Alright, let's look at number 2. 50 meters to millimeters. Now, this decimal point right here shows us that we have I didn't highlight. It has two sig figs. So it points out that at five and the zero are two sig figs. So we have 50 meters. We're taking them to millimeters. So again, 50 meters. We have meters has to go on the bottom. Millimeters on top. Mill is a thousand. So there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. And it gives me 50,000 millimeters which I have two sig figs right we have two sig figs we know there's two so one two those two are sig figs the other three are placeholders so how do I best write this down I would write 5.0 times 10 to the fourth millimeters and that gives us our right amount of sig figs number three number three we have 400 nanometers meters so I start with 400 nanometers and we're going to convert this to meters all right so I'm going to put nanometers on the bottom meters on top now I was taught the bigger unit always gets the one it doesn't have to be that way but the bigger unit gets I'm going to say the bigger unit gets the one 1 times 10 to the ninth nanometers is a meter, right? Because nano is a billionth of a meter, right? If I took a meter stick and I divided them to a billion equal parts, each one of those parts would be a nanometer. And so if we do this math, we get 400, or 4, excuse me, it's just 4, 1 sig fig, times 10 to the negative 7th meters. Now, let's say you didn't like that. 400 nanometers. And we're going to convert it slightly different. You look at your conversion sheet and you notice that nano means, so 1 times 10 to negative 9 nanometers, because nanometers is times 10 to negative 9, is 1 meter. You could do that the same. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that backwards, because I don't do it this way. You could say 1 nanometer either, is 1 times 10 to negative 9 meters. There we go. We can do that as well. That's fair. And you'll still get 4 times 10 to negative 7 meters. The other way you can do it, which 
is probably the fastest way is we have 400 nanometers which is the same as 400 and nano is just times 10 to negative 9 meters right which is the same answer as that guy and that guy right because that's still 4 times 10 to negative 7 meters so when your calculator because we have these TI-83s and 4s or whatever graphing calculator, Microsoft Excel, whatever you're going to use. Uh, these, these numbers don't have to be in number times 10 to the power. I can have 400 times 10 to the negative 9. And that's fine. Your calculator will take it and roll with it. So when we use this, like we'll use this soon. That like 400 nanometers, 525 nanometers. You can just put it in 525 times 10 to the negative ninth and you're good to go same thing with the next one a hundred picoseconds right so I have 100 picoseconds well if I look that's the same thing as 100 pico is 1 times 10 to the negative 12 seconds which is the same thing as 1 times 10 to negative 10 seconds. All those are the same. Now, if you want to do it by conversion, right, I can do 100 picoseconds. I don't know how I did that. Times, you know that there is 1 times 10 to the 12th picoseconds in 1 second, and then you get the same answer. So again, how you do it, it's it's not that big of a deal right if however you want to do this I think the fastest way is just use the uh, prefix and change it into its, exp its exponent what it means All right especially if you're just doing one step conversion like this but you can do it up here where you did the four nanometers positive exponent one or put one in the negative exponent for the base unit I don't care Again, I don't care. Just like those of us who've gotten married, or when you have, if you're not married yet, you'll learn this, that there is more than one way to correctly fold a towel. You might not believe that, right? Because if whoever you taught you how to fold a towel, and you folded the towels that way, and that's just how you folded them. And then you get married, or if you already are married, and you found out there's another way to fold a towel. Right? And then... Maybe you have an in-law that suggests that uh, their way is superior to your way. And you have to deal with that, right? But there's more than one way to fold the towel correctly, right? Maybe some people are like, no, no, I, my way. there's more than one way to fold the towel, and that's fine, okay? I, as long as they're folded and put away, we're good, right? So same thing here. As long as you get this answer, or as long as you get this answer, I'm happy. All right, so however you make sense to you, go for it. Number five. So we got 550 meters per second into kilometers per minute. So I'm going to start with 550 meters second. Now this is a two-stepper, so we got to do top and bottom, right? Top and bottom. So I'll do meters first because that's, that's usually what we do first. So meters on the bottom, going to kilometers. One kilometer, thousand meters. All right, seconds to minutes. We know there are 60 seconds in one minute. That one, I will expect you to know how many seconds are in a minute and how many minutes are in an hour. Just telling you right now. Like, uh, how do I know all these conversions? Well, almost every conversion can be looked up except for those two. I will expect you to know those. And I think that's pretty fair. All right. Okay, and if we do that math... I should get um, 33, I have two sig figs, so I'm only going to get 33 kilometers per minute, because I only have two sig figs. Alright, number six, 2.3 years into seconds, and this is a great analogy of why sig figs matter, alright? So we'll start with 2.3 years. Well, one year 
happens to be technically 365.25 days. Because every four years we have a leap year. All right, now I'm starting with two sig figs. That's five sig figs. Do you think my answer is going to matter if I use 365 or 365.25? The answer is no, and you can check this. You can use 365 or 365.25 and go from there and see that to two sig figs, it's no different. To five sig figs, it's definitely different. If this was 2.300, all of a sudden now the uh, 0.25 days does matter, all right? That, that does, but when we have two sig figs, it does not matter at all, all right? Then... On top, days. So let's go from days. Let's go one day is 24 hours. And then we're going to seconds, right? So one hour is 3,600 seconds, right? And that's because there's 60 seconds in one minute and 60 minutes in one hour. And if we do that, I get seven two five eight two four eight zero oh, or seven point three times ten to the seventh seconds. There you go. Seven hundred yards to millimeters. Hundred point zero yards. So one hundred point zero yard. More than one way to do this again. Okay, in your sheet from the troll um, beginning or end, ending page, I think it's the ending pages, and the inside cover, it gives you that one yard, I'm sorry, it's not one yard, I don't have this one memorized, 1 1.0936 yards is one meter. You could do that. I, me personally, if I was just doing this, I'd go yards to feet. Actually, I'd probably just go right to yards to inches because I know there's three, six inches in a yard. And then go from inches to centimeters, centimeters to millimeters. That's how I would have done this. But you're more than welcome to use your toolbox, right? 1.0936 yards is a meter. And in one meter... There's a thousand millimeters. And I get nine one four four one millimeters, which happens to be to four sig figs, nine one four four zero millimeters. See you could have done it this way with hundred yards. You know, one yard is thirty six inches, three feet, and then one inch is 2.54 centimeters and one centimeter yeah one centimeter is 10 millimeters and you could have gone that way too that's either one's right either one eight ten miles to kilometers so 10.0 miles and one mile is 1.609 kilometers. All right, four laps around the track. So 10 miles would be 16.1 kilometers. Okay, number nine. Five gallons to fluid ounces. Now, I, I really like this one because it really shows a lot of us that we like our English system. I like it. Except we don't know it that well. All right, we're just used to it. Because it really doesn't matter. Like Your tools are your tools. A wrench is a wrench. Uh, measuring cup's a measuring cup. It doesn't matter what the unit is. You just use them to the appropriate unit. But we like our gallons. So we start with five gallons. All right, so... Not that many people know gallons to ounces. So one gallon happens to be four quarts. And um, one quart happens to be two pints. One 
one pint happens to be two cups and I haven't used this color one cup happens to be eight fluid ounces so if we do that I get 640 fluid ounces all right, so that if you look at that, you get eight and eight, you, you get a hundred and uh, twenty-eight ounces in a gallon. It's fun. All right, ten, ten liters to pints. So now we're going from English to metric, or actually metric to English. Ten liters. I don't want to use red. Sorry. 10 liters. Well, liters has to go on the bottom. And gallons on top. And so one gallon happens to be 3.7854 liters. And then we know one gallon, gallon is 4 quarts. And we know that one quart is two pints. So we end up with 21.1 pints. And there's number 10. Now if you know there's eight pints in a gallon, you could, you could have done that too, right? That's fine. Number 11, 20 tons to ounces. So 20.0 tons. Well, one ton on the bottom, and that happens to be what? 2,000 pounds. And then one pound happens to be 16 ounces. So this turns out to be 640 thousand ounces. I have three sig figs, so I would write 6.40 times 10 to the fifth ounces. And there we are. Number 12. 310 feet per second to miles an hour. 310 feet per second. Okay, so start with feet. We know that feet here, mile, can I go feet to mile? Yes, one mile is 5,280 feet. And then seconds to hours. There's 3,600 seconds in one hour. And that gives us 211.36 repeating. Which to two sig figs, that happens to be 210 miles an hour, which is quite fast. Especially for a human to be traveling. Number 13. 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second to miles an hour. This, this is the speed of light. In a vacuum, 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. This is the fastest in theory anything can travel. So meters to miles. We already know that meters and miles are related by distance. So one mile is 1609 meters. And then seconds to hours again. We know seconds, hours, one hour is 3,600 seconds. So that gives us 671 million. Or 6.71 times 10 to the eighth miles per hour. Quite fast. Alright, here's our density. 
all right, we have things that are 25 grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cubed, same thing. And we are going to convert this to kilograms per cubic meter. That's the standard SI unit. We, we use this grams per milliliter, grams per uh, centimeter uh, cube for a reason. So let's go grams to kilogram first. We know that 1,000 grams is 1 kilogram. Done. Then milliliters to meters cubed. So, uh, so we know it's nice. It's uh, 1,000 milliliters is 1 kilogram liter and one thousand liters is one meter cubed so that will give us if you notice one of the thousands will cancel twenty five thousand kilograms kilograms per meter cubed or 2.5 times 10 to the fourth kilograms meter cubed that's big all right so something that's 25 grams per milliliter we can pick that up easily 25,000 kilograms is a little bit harder to pick up for most of us all right ten and a half acres to meter squared. And I like this one because most of us hopefully eventually will have property and a lot of us want to have a yard and they look at a yard. Oh, that's 0.25 acres. That's three acres. That's 0.6 acres. And we all just nod our heads like we know exactly what that looks like. Having not much of an idea what it looks like. All right. So 10.5 acres. How big is an acre? Well, an acre happens to be one acre. That must be four eight four zero yards squared. Now this is an area measurement. This is also area. Right? What we're going to now, yards are not area. So we can go yards to meters like we did before. Right? Where one meter is one point zero nine three six yards right this is linear so we have to square the linear to get my area right linear squared is area so we have to square those numbers okay. now we the yards here we do not square because it's already an area volume or area measurement 4,840 square yards is an acre. That's already been squared. Okay. So we end up with 4,000 or 4.25 times 10 to the fourth meters squared. Which is a pretty good size. All right. So now $100 to euros. I don't know what it is at the, today, the actual conversion rate. I'm just going to use that one dollar is equal to um, zero point nine five euros. That's what I'm going to use. I don't know what it is today. I didn't look it up. And by the time you actually watch this, it's probably going to be different. It might be the same, but it could be different. So let's try this. One hundred dollars. We know that for every one dollar, there is 0.95 euros, so that gives us 95. Now, sig figs, these are exact numbers. It's 95 euros, right? Infinite sig figs, because it's a counting unit. All right. Hopefully, when we talk about money, we're talking accurate counting numbers. Hundred dollars is small enough where it's accurate now when they get big ambiguous like oh i won the lotto you know 200 million hope you did i did not but hope you did right 200 million is not an exact number it's probably plus or minus could be a lot there because of taxes or what you actually got whatnot right and there's change but 
it's so big that it's close enough. Where $100 is not like a huge amount of money. So, I mean, there's a $100 bill. So, hopefully you understand the point there. All right. 55 gallons to cubic meters. 55 gallons. And we know one gallon. Ooh, dummy. One gallon happens to be 3.7854 liters. And we've learned that 1,000 liters is one meter cubed. So this gives us the three sig figs 0 0.208 meters cubed. That's not even one. So 55 gallon drum, you guys have seen those 55 gallon drums before, they're pretty big. It's 0.2 cubic meters. You need five 55 gallon drums to fill a cubic meter. Pretty big. 18, 100 meters cubed, feet cubed. All right, so let's start with this. 100 meters cubed. Now this is the volume. Right? We're doing volume here, right? So a meter is a linear measurement, and we're doing volume. So we're going to have to cube things. So one meter is 100 centimeters. Now, if you're going meters to yards, you could do that, or meters to feet. There might be a meters to feet conversion. Go ahead. I'm doing it this way. And then... We have 2.54 centimeters is one inch. And we got 12 inches is one foot. But again, these are all linear. So we're going to have to cube everything for volume, right? It's one inch times one inch times one inch is 2.54 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters. So we got to, oh, undo that. We got to cube everything. Okay, that's very important. Now we don't cube the beginning because this is already volume. That's a volume already. But the other ones we're doing area or we're doing linear measurements, we need to cube them to volume. And so I get. Three five three one point four six 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 seven two ish, which turns out to be with four sig figs three five three one feet cubed. Hopefully that's what you're getting, something close to that. All right, twenty thousand leagues to feet. Twenty thousand leagues. All right, so leagues to feet. Well, one league happens to be three miles. It's good to know. You ever watch the old movie, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? How far is that? Well, that's three miles. A league is three miles, so times by three, right? Which would be 60,000 miles, which is quite a far quite far and then one mile is 5,280 feet feet so that gives us three one six eight zero 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 feet now I have one sig fig so that gives me three times 10 to the 8 feet, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I messed the comma up. Comma's there. All right, last one. 125 furlongs to per fortnight, 2 kilometers an hour. I'm sorry, 125,000. 
125,000 furlongs. These are some very old units. Although Fortnite, if you listen carefully, sometimes they say Fortnite in a movie. All right. I think it's been in Lord of the Rings. I think it's been some other ones too. All right. So Fortnite does have, it's still, every now and then it pops up. Furlongs, I'm not so sure if that pops up anymore. Old units. So, what's a furlong? So, one furlong is 660 feet. Now, do you need to memorize that? No. You can always look it up. Okay. And I want to do this. All right. And now we know there are well, I'm sorry. Yes. One foot is 12 inches. And then one inch is 2.54 centimeters. And 100 centimeters is one meter. And 1,000 meters is one kilometer. So, there we so now we have kilometers. we got to keep going. Fortnite. So what's a Fortnite? It's a video game now, apparently. So a Fortnite is two weeks. And then we know that one week, seven days. And we know that one day is 24 hours. Wow. And if we do all that math, I end up with 7.4.8. Three nine two eight five seven one, or seventy four point eight kilometers per hour. There is your conversions. So now, on the back, was some of those obscure um, the obscure units that we don't normally use. So hopefully that clears up some of the units and how to do some of the conversions.